So here I'm going to show you how to add in some fills. In order to do this, you are going to need to go back into your Ultra B. So close up these scissors here, and you're going to go over into your drum track, Ultra Beat should be selected, and click on these three lines. Now you are going to have some different beats here. If you are someone who did this on a different computer, perhaps last year, then you're going to need to somehow get onto that computer to get these Ultra Beat beats off or re-enter them quickly. So my original Dembow beat is the one that sounds like this. And a fill is essentially just a little something at the end that adds something extra. Usually it's done with the toms or the cymbals. So I have added a drum fill onto mine and it sounds like this. So the way that I've added in this fill is I've just put it at the very end here. So if you're someone who's done the trap beat, you would only do it on the second half of your trap beat. So I have picked a couple of these tom sounds that I liked. I've put them on two and 12 and 13. Then I've picked a different tom and finally ended with a crash symbol. I could do a ride symbol though for a different effect. Let's listen. Creates a slightly higher sound. I liked that crash. You could do this in any sort of way. I'll show you another example in just a second. Once you've created that fill, you're going to go up to here and do file save as. Make sure you name it as fill at the end. That way that you know it's your fill. You can then go into the end of a section. So let's say it's my verse two here. And I want to put a fill at the end of each of these sets of four bars. So I'm going to delete the original one that's there. And I'm going to grab the pattern and drag it in. So I've got one there and I'm going to put another one here. I'm even going to color them so I can remind myself to tell the examiner that they're different. So I'm going to do option C. We'll bring up these colors and I'm just going to give them a slightly different shade of green. There we go. Now, fills can be simple like this, or they can be a bit more complicated. So I'm going to show you one other example of a fill I've done. First of all, this is my original verse drum beat. It's just a basic four to the floor beat. I've then added in a drum fill, which sounds like this. These here, the drum fills, you can see this pattern is longer, so I have more space to do fills. But in this case, I've still used my tom sounds to create this effect. I just added in a couple of extra ones. So give it a go adding some fills yourself. You should aim to have a fill at least once a section and for both of your different types of drum beats. Remember that when you're finished, turn off the sequencer here so it doesn't play over your track once you close it off. And then we can hear the difference. So I've got already a nice different effect there. Have fun adding your drum fills to show your development.